it's Paige and we're back for another YouTube video. Um, today we're going to talk about in a kit. I know a lot of people are all about the rules and this kind of like hidden golf etiquette that no one really talks about but you're just supposed to know. So I'll go over some of that and I think it's the easiest way to kind of pick out a new or amateur golfer is if they just know, don't know like the little hidden things that you're supposed to do. So um, I'll give you some tips and tricks and uh, you guys can follow along. So like I said, a lot of people are all about golf etiquette and everything has to be like perfect. And I'm not like that, uh, especially when I'm playing like a fun round with my friends. Um, we don't really play honors, but what honors is, is that the person who has the lowest score from the previous hole gets a tee off first. And some people get really upset if you don't follow this. So uh, words of advice is let the person who has a lowest score go first and give them their honor. And if you are behind or um, it just seems to be too slow, ask them be like, hey, is it okay if I tee off first and you know, we don't play honors anymore. And most people will be like, yeah, sure, that's totally fine. But always ask first and um, make sure that, you know, they're not offended by you taking their, their honor away from them. So one thing that's uh, <laughs> actually fairly frustrating is when people don't rake the bunkers correctly and nothing is worse than being in a footprint or um, as you can see here how there's like these just people drop the rakes in and so if your ball lands right there you're kind of in this hole so um, raking the bunker is really important don't just kind of stab it in and pull it back because when I do that you can see this huge line right there and that's not okay so so for bunkers um lightly go in and then over it again and just keep going back and forth and making sure it's really smooth um you don't want to leave any footprints um any big marks you really just want to make it as smooth as possible for the next person um it's just good etiquette and it's nice and it may take a little bit more time but again it's just those little extra things that make a big difference and um, it shows that you care about the golf course and you know your other the other competitors on the golf course or your friends or the people behind you so this sand's really thick <laughs> so it's really difficult <laughs> trying to do it as best as I can do it but um I'm trying. And the next thing too, when you're done, don't just kind of throw it in like that. Make sure that either some golf courses like when you leave the rake half in the bunker and some people like when you leave the, the rake outside of the bunker. So you can ask beforehand or you can just tell. Obviously all of the rakes are outside the bunker here. So I'm just going to lay the, the rake right there. And that is raking in bunker etiquette 101. Okay, so the next one is some putting tips or etiquette as well. Um, if you're first on the green, take the flag out. Look if everyone's around. If someone is off the green but in putting distance, ask them beforehand if they want the flag in or out. Don't assume that they either want it in and or out. <laughs> uh, so be very cautious about that. Also, when you're coming in to pick the flag up, this is a big one for me, watch where all the balls are because say that that's someone's ball right there and I'm coming in and I just step right in their line and I don't even think about it there's gonna be spike marks there or anything and also when you're putting the flag down don't lay it anywhere close to where someone's through line would be or if it's in their line of sight so always make sure it's out of their sight another thing is when someone is reading their putt or about to putt, don't stand right here, <laughs> right behind them or right behind the hole, um, just because it's a bit distracting for other people and 
don't be moving or fidgeting or just walking around making a lot of movement because when you're putting here I can see everything in this vicinity and when I look up I can obviously see all around so be very considerate of other people and like when they're going through their routine and what they're doing again if you're like with your buddies and they don't care do whatever you want <laughs> this is just when you're playing with people who are like very on top of etiquette and making sure everything has to be perfect and just being really considerate of other people and because some people I said really care about it and some people don't care about it at all <laughs> and also so say that someone's putt right there don't walk right here because if they miss that putt then you're going to leave spike marks in their through line so walk at least five feet around so if someone's there, I always make sure I'm coming all the way around here. So if they miss the putt, they're not putting through spike marks again. So it's just something that you really have to be careful of, of like always just think of your surroundings and other people and um, you obviously don't want to be putting over spike marks. <laughs> and so always make sure that you're um, done and also fixing ball marks. That's a big one. So as soon as you come up, I don't have it. I don't have a T. Fixing ball marks. So as soon as you get on the green, it takes two seconds. And the correct way to fix a ball mark, because a lot of people don't actually know how to fix a ball mark. Um, you don't just go down and then push the ground up. You actually go from one side and slowly kind of push it in. And you do that all the way around the mark and then you tap it down easy way to fix a ball mark um, rule of thumb fix yours and then two others um, if you do that then you make the green really nice the, everyone will be happy and then the greens will be a lot better too so always think about that okay let's see if I can actually make this fun now I hit a ball mark. <laughs> Someone fixed their ball mark, then maybe I would have made it. And then if you drag your feet or if anything happens, always just kind of tap your spike mark down before you leave as well. Um, just the polite thing to do. So that is some etiquette for putting. So when you're on the tee box, um, obviously don't talk when someone's hitting. <laughs> Uh, don't be too close to them as well. So if you're standing, I'm teeing off here and you're standing pretty close, I can still see you. Um, I can see about that far ahead of me. <laughs> so make sure you're standing far away from them. <laughs> Give them their space and um, just don't get too close. And also a big thing is in the, uh, your shadow. So if you're you can't really tell right now because of the light, but if I'm standing here, my shadow can be in their way. So always be very um, aware of your shadow. So if, just move around, make sure that you're never in someone's way. a bad shot and it ends up working out or maybe it's not a great shot don't say good shot to them or like good miss or uh, you got away with that one <laughs> I think that is just like that's really frustrating for me because um, if you just totally miss it so I was like oh you got lucky on that one or good miss there or if you're putting and someone <laughs> they leave it short and you're like oh nice try the worst or like good effort oh I hate that but if someone does hit a good shot, take the time to be like, hey, great shot, that was awesome. Um, give them the credit and be like, great shot. But if you tell that they're a little frustrated, don't go out of your way to make them feel even worse about it. <laughs> even though you think you might be helping, um, as someone who has been told that plenty of times, it just doesn't feel that great. So 
about divots? <laughs> divots are a big one. Always fix your divots. You can use the sand on the cart and you pour it in, kind of shake it around and then spread it out, kind of tap it down. Um, or if you're in areas with like bent grass and you have those like big like beaver pelts, then you can take them and put it back in. Um, but always fix your divot, take the time to do that. It's not that hard and um, just do it, just do it. That's all I have to say. Okay, I know that sitting in a car can be a little bit boring sometimes and you gotta have some music. I love music, a lot of people like music on the golf course, but some people do not like music. So again, ask who you're playing with and be like, hey, is it okay if I put some music on? If they say no, then just don't play music for the day. I think it's always, you just you always wanna be considerate of the people you're playing with and if they don't want music, then they just don't want music and that's fine. Um, but then play with people who want music. Always play with people who are similar to you and your playing style because um, it makes it more fun and enjoyable. So I know what you're gonna say to this one. Um, Dress code is actually really important uh, when you're going to a golf course. So uh, I know you're like, but Paige, you dress like a slut every day. Um, might be true, but I always look at uh, the website before and I look up their dress code and they, if they have a relaxed dress code, then I'll just wear what I normally wear. Uh, but if it is a country club or a high-end golf club, um, I will look at how long my skirt needs to be and if I need to wear a collar. Um, you just want to respect the course and, and respect um, everyone else there and you want to um, follow the rules. And I always think that is very important even though I, um, I do wear what I wear and I am for a changing dress code, I still um, respect authority and especially want to be respectful. So I always look ahead and see what it is and um, dress for that. So if you're going to a really nice country club, I recommend wearing slacks and a nice collar and uh, just always take your hat off as well when you're going into the clubhouse or the pro shop. Um, I Most women don't have to do that, but it's usually recommended for most men. Um, so always take your cap off and wear kind of your nicest clothes when you're going to a higher end golf course. Um, but if you're just going to like a public golf course, I don't think it's important, but it's just when you're, especially if you're invited to. So if I'm invited by someone, I don't want to show up and embarrass them or get in trouble for what I'm wearing. So I will always follow dress code and it's just, it's still part of the game. It's, it's how it is. And, uh, uh, just always make sure you're following the rules. <laughs> I want to talk about pace of play. Um, I never mind playing with someone who is just starting or not very good. I have fun with everyone, but one thing that really stands out is when someone doesn't follow pace of play. And so if you're having, if it's just a fun round of golf and you're kind of struggling on a hole and you're behind, just pick up. <laughs> Just pick up, um, always be considerate of the people you're playing with and also the people behind you. And if it seems like you're just going, you're the person holding everyone up, um, just pick up, um, move on, speed up your pre-shot routine. I mean, like we're not playing for majors here, so we don't need to be, uh, <laughs> sorry Jason Day, I love you, but we don't need to be playing like Jason Day over here. Um, it, it, fun, keep up. Um, and if you're struggling at hold, just pick up. It's it's not that big of a deal. Um, even I do that. If I feel like we're behind um, and I hit it somewhere, I'll just pick it up, move on to the next hole. And um, that's like the biggest thing I, I hear a lot of complaints about is like playing with people who are really slow. And so like, don't be that person. <laughs> you don't want to be that person that no one wants to play with because you're playing slow. Um, you want to be the person who is fast, um, has a quick pre-shot routine, um, doesn't like you know, take hours to line up a putt. And honestly, 
if you're playing with your buddies and unless it's like and like a serious serious match and you guys have a lot of money on it if it's like a three footer just give the three footer or even like a four footer like just give putts like do things to keep pace and play up and i think it'll make the experience a lot better for you and as well as everyone else on the golf course so pace of play is really important and just just play faster just play faster <laughs> that's all i have to say about pace of play okay everyone so that is all for my etiquette video i know there's a ton that I missed, um, but I didn't want it to be like a three hour video. So these are just some of my helpful tips to um, make the golfing experience a lot better for your playing partners and also for yourself. Just some little things to remember. So comment down below on some of the ones that I missed and you think I should discuss maybe in another video if you like this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. A lot more awesome, amazing golf content coming out soon. I think it's awesome and amazing. Hopefully you think it's awesome and amazing too. But I hope you enjoyed this video and that is all for today.